Today, we're playing In the Clutches of Hades, which is not related to the video game Hades at all. Um, but it's going to take us longer than 60 minutes because it always does on stream, and that's okay. So we should get started because it is already 7.47. And yeah, so I'm just going to grab our deck of cards here, and I'm going to start reading um, because uh, the timer will happen at the end of this. All right, are you all ready for this? Here we go. In the clutches of Hades. The city is in turmoil. Heracles, its beloved hero, has disappeared. The people organized a ceremony at the great temple to implore the gods for his safe return. In Heracles' house, Alex, a young and talented slave, prepares prestigious offerings in their honor. She secretly dreams of escaping her social status, and to that end, what better way than to find her master? It's set. She must run away from the workshop and listen to what the gods have to say. Launch the app, select the In the Clutches of Hades scenario, then press start. Do not use the filter card until instructed. Oh, there's a filter card, yo. Like, so this, I, I, don't, I don't know if this is going to come across on screen, but it is basically just black lines. Um, oh, it's like a transparent sheet with black lines on it. There we go. Now you can see what I see. So we're not using that yet. Um, and we are starting the timer. All right. Flip this card over. What do we got? Okay, we got to find some cards. Is that a C in this weird font? I'm going to assume. We need 13, 31, R, and C. R. C. They're always toward the back. Right at the beginning, there's always a couple that are right at the back. What the heck? Where are they at? 31. Oh my gosh, is it the last card? It's the last freaking card! <laughs> Dang it! I don't know why this frustrates me so much. Maybe because, like, if you were to accidentally flip the deck over, you wouldn't spoil something toward the end of the game. Does that make sense? Maybe that makes sense. I don't know. Let's see here. The foreman is annoyed. Get to work, slave. Hurry to finish this chair for the offerings. If we're late, you'll be whipped. He looks serious. <laughs> yes, he does. He very much does. Oh. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're going to have to grab some more cards here in a second. But we've got some another piece of the workshop here. Y'all can't see anything right now. I'm going to zoom this in. See if that helps a little. I'm going to probably forget that I've done that, but we'll see. All right, and then we have a statue. In a few minutes, the priests will be here to collect the offerings. Some of them are ready. Okay, so we've got a lovely statue with some bowls and other stuff. That's a red card. Alex. So this is us, I guess. carving what looks to be a statue of Poseidon. Okay, what else do we need to grab here? 90, E, and 49. There's 90, there's E. See those, why, why couldn't the others? 49, look at that! Yo, all right on top. All right, carpenter's tools. You will need them several times during this adventure. To use them, press the allocated button. Oh yeah, there's a special button in the app. I didn't even notice. Okay, we'll put that up here for a second and we'll get back to that. We've got a bronze coin. And object patterns. Okay. Chair, harp, barrel, and bowl are the patterns we have. All right, well, let's see what this special thing does. Follow the, okay. Follow the dotted lines to identify the shape of the object to make. Wait, what? Oh, we need to make a chair, right? Um, oops. <laughs> you finish the chair. Satisfied, the foreman moves away. This is the opportunity for you to find a way to escape. Discard C. Okay, the foreman is gone.
Okay. So. We don't have anything else of note. Do I, what should I combine? Should I combine the bronze coin with one of these? It doesn't seem to fit necessarily. I mean, these are offerings. Should I put like the coin into one of the bowls? That'd be 70, 80. That'd be card 80 if I combine those two. I don't know if that would be a good offering. We'll see if there's an 80 in the deck. There might not be. That doesn't seem like a great combo, but I'm going to check anyway. Did I also do the math right? I should check that. Yes. Okay. You'd think the math would be easy, but when I'm thinking about eight things all at the same time, sometimes it doesn't work. It does not look like we're going to find an 80 in here. No. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's look for hidden numbers. That is the part of Unlocked. Oh, this is oh. so exciting. Prettiest Kitty, thank, thank you, you for the follow. To follow me. All right, let's see if there's any hidden numbers in here. I do have it turned on in the app um, to show hidden numbers. Uh, so it'll let me know at some point if that is the case, but I don't see anything on my card. Let's look on the statue card and see. I don't see anything hidden on this one either. What about in the bronze coin? Oh, is that an eight? No, no, I don't think so. Sometimes I see numbers where there are none. I don't think that's a number. All right, well, so should I combine the, this with myself? Let's see, 50, 62. I don't know what else I have to work with right now. I don't have a lot. Unless I carve something else. There's 63. No, 62. I don't have anything else I can combine. I'm going to pay myself. This bronze coin is what I'm going to do. Sure doesn't look like I'm going to. Nope. Oh, yay! So that, uh, the follow notification is... Um, for, oh gosh, that's from our music video that we released four years ago, the GIF. And then the, the audio is um, Ambie and I singing our parody. Oh, yay. Thanks, Hornus. Bye. Have a good lurk. Um, that's us singing our parody of Ballroom Blitz by Sweet, um, which here, hold on. I can trigger the notification again if you want to see it. I can trigger a test notification um, so you can see it again. Because why not? Do, 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 do. I just have to log into Streamlabs because I'm not logged in currently. Alerts. So test follow. Oh, this is so exciting. Thank you for your choice to follow me. So that's Ambi, me, and Cassidy. Cassidy was one of the original hosts of the podcast with Ambi and I. Um, and yeah, so that's what that looks like. Um, we have a lot of fun notifications. The bits one is my favorite. Board game bits. Board game bits. Our little dance from uh, MeepleCon years ago. All right, I, I, the timer's been running this whole time and I'm literally not even playing. So let's see if we can carve something else. I'm gonna carve a bowl. Where's the bowl? What if I carve a ball? That didn't do anything. Can I carve a harp? Can carve a barrel. Ooh, I made a large barrel. I get to take card 14. Well, that's cool. If I can never find card 14 in the deck, this is the most tedious part of unlock. Ooh, I should put myself in the barrel. <gasps> I can hide in the barrel. Okay, so then this would be 27. Okay, card 27 is what we're gonna look for now because we're gonna hide in that barrel to get to escape. That is what I'm thinking. We'll see if there's a 27 in the deck. 
Yes, 27. I'm just checking the math before I search through the entire deck of cards. Oh gosh, you're fine. You do not need to apologize. I distract myself constantly. Did I miss 27? Nope, it's right there. Let's see. Hiding in the barrel to escape is a good idea, but if the barrel remains in the middle of the workshop, you won't get far. Discard this card. Oh, I see. Okay, so I have to put the barrel onto, in with the other, um, oh, and I have to get rid of card E, it says. Oh, okay, so I don't need E anymore. I didn't even notice that. Um, so let's combine these and put it over with the other offerings first. So 45. I like that it was like, you did a good thing, but it didn't penalize me, which is kind of nice. Alex adds the barrel to the offerings. Nice. Okay, so now we take the barrel and the offerings, get rid of those. Now we've got them combined. Now we get in the barrel. So 45, 55, 58. Swoop. Nice. The priests carry Alex hiding in the barrel to the great temple. The ceremony for Ericles will be held in front of it at nightfall. Okay, it says to get rid of 13, 45, and O. Oh, and then we need to pick up 9, 15, 22, 70. Fifteen, nine, twenty-two, seventy. Seventy, so nine and twenty-two. Nine. Twenty-two, okay. Oh, thank you, prettiest kitty. Thanks for the lurk, I appreciate it. Um, Y'all are the best for lurking, I love it. All right. An imposing sacred vase is at the foot of one of the temple's columns. Well, that looks like something that we're going to be using our little decoder for shortly, but for right now, we'll leave it alone. Well, on the temple's pediment, the statues of the gods seem to be taunting the crowd from high above. And there's like a green light coming from like Taurus up there. At least I assume that's Taurus. It's a bull. I don't know. People are gathering in front of the temple. A winged man, somewhat sassy, flutters around. I can take you away through the air, young girl. I easily break the rules. Okay. I don't know what that means. It's in bold. I easily break the rules. So. Oh, <laughs> no, somewhat sassy is really on the card. A winged man, somewhat sassy. I mean, I would, I would describe this man as somewhat sassy though, to be fair. Um, but no, I did not add that flavor text. It came naturally on the card. All right, so breaking the rules to me implies breaking the rules of the game. So maybe even though this is a gray card, you can combine it. Um, the nip. <laughs> there is, let's see, how close can I? It's there. What about these people in the background? That lady, she's not here for it. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. A wise man scrutinizes the sky. Tonight, the stars wish to speak. Okay, so we got a blue piece there. Hmm. So am I just supposed to, am I allowed to use the decoder now? Cause like, it very much looks like I'm supposed to, oh my gosh. <gasps> That's so cool. It like, yo, okay. It's an eight, right? It's just an eight. That is really, really cool. Like how it moves when I slide the card, but it's, it's definitely an eight. How does it do that? That's neat. I like visual tricks and puzzles and illusions. But I'm gonna look for card eight and see if uh, it's in here. There it is, let's see if that's, all right. We can get rid of six and 15. Six, 
Do we have six? I don't know if we have six. Did I just skip ahead? Was I not supposed to do that? It seemed too obvious to not do, right? Well, I guess when we find six, we'll figure that out. Uh, I think we may have skipped ahead. <laughs> but like, did it tell me that I wasn't allowed to use the thing at all? We're gonna, we're gonna hold on to that for a moment and see what else is going on here. Because it feels like either I'm supposed to have card six and I'm not aware of it, or, okay, regardless, the gods are taunting the crowd from high above. This guy is scrutinizing the sky and says tonight the stars wish to speak. I'm gonna try combining those two. So that would give me 92. Um, I'm gonna zoom this back out just a little. I know you all can't see a ton of the detail, um, but um, what am I looking for? 92? I don't, I, this is, I'm not sure if this is gonna work. Mm, nope, 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 okay. He easily breaks the rules. But I don't know what to do with that. I'm gonna try and combine it with 70. Again, I'm, I'm breaking rules of the game right now. So 79, is that in here? I don't, I'm not quite sure what else to do. Like maybe he could take me up there to look at the stuff. There's a 70. I shouldn't, I shouldn't look at the other numbers. I know better, but my brain. Ah. Ooh, there is a 79. Hold on. <gasps> it worked. Yo, I did a thing. I did a smart thing, y'all. What the heck? I never do a smart thing. How in the world did I do that? I actually like listen to the game. So this is actually one of the things, hold on, I'm gonna pause the timer for a second. <laughs> in, oh gosh, and now I kicked the camera. Oh, everything is, yeah. Um, early in the unlock series, there were more, there were like instances where the game would break its own rules, but it wasn't self-acknowledging like that. Like you would just kind of expect you to know to break the rules. And that was what was frustrating. So this very specifically said, I break the rules. And so board game bits. I think that that's good. Board game bits. <gasps> Monique, my board game wife. Hi friend. Happy birthday, y'all. Y'all, drop some love for Mo in the chat right now. It is her, ber their birthday. And yo, Monique is just the best human. Like, truly the best. So, wish Monique a very, very happy birthday in the chat, please. Even if you're lurking, I promise I won't talk about spoilers for a second. You should hop on to the chat and wish Monique a happy birthday. But- Board game bits. Four Four bits. Bits. Yay, thank you for the bits, Danny. <sighs> Y'all are the best. Okay, so yeah, I like when, if a game is going to break its own rules, like be clear about it, right? Also, I'm gonna turn on this other light over here and see if this helps brighten things up for my me a little bit. Not a lot, but whatever, it's okay. Um, all right, so I need to grab some new cards. The heck? There's a UPS truck right outside making noise. Okay, 23, 54, 65. I know, buddy. 54, 65, and 23. 23. Did I pass 65? Nope, it's the last card in the deck. <laughs> okay, you want me to sing I'm on a boat? Is that, is that, what, that, is that what that means, I assume? Okay, 
Hold on. Oh, I didn't even start the timer back up again anyway, so this works out well. Oh gosh. Okay, Sterling. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go get the package that UPS apparently just brought. Hi. I know. Everybody's freaking out. I know. Okay, hold on. I should make sure my address isn't showing up on stream. Um, uh, yeah, I ordered uh, the new bus route dice game and take the A chord from Sashi and Sashi and they're here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So excited. <laughs> Y'all, I'm very, very excited about that. Okay, gosh, now I might have to play. Oh, okay. We're going to have to figure out. Everything is fine. <laughs> I'm going to give myself a hydration reminder because I have a giant cup of water and I want to drink this whole thing and I drank none of it. Do an unboxing like right now or after the game? I think I should probably do it after the game, right? Danny, thank you for the hydration reminder. Okay, let's continue for now. And a second hydration. I'm going to pick the cup back up to respect the, the dual hydration reminders. Do you want me to chug it? Because I will. I can chug. So admittedly, this is pretty cold, so it'll be difficult. I do not drink alcohol anymore. But back in the day, in my early 20s. <laughs> no, don't. I'm just saying, I could chug beer. And I don't even like beer that much. But like, I could chug beer impressively well it last year ha, that's funny my 20s were not last year or any time recently what goes well with hydration a boat a boat does a boat go well with hydration i keep forgetting monique i owe you all right i'm turning off desktop audio so desktop audio will not come through the stream and i gotta pull the video up i told you i have to pull the video up when i do this because <sighs> <clears throat> you all will not be able to Ooh, unless I can find a karaoke track would that be I might still get a strike I don't know I kind of don't care let's see here uh, I'm on a boat karaoke maybe I'll turn on the okay well there's a karaoke version I'm not, I'm not going to do the whole thing, obviously. And I don't even know if I can do it well enough without having the lyrics to guide me. So I'm turning desktop audio back on. <laughs> I'm going to regret this. The, yes, this is for your birthday. <gasps> yes, Danny, I'm so excited. Y'all, okay, I'm all over the place tonight. But Friday night, Danny, Monique, me, and Panda Angel are playing Honey Heist, a one-shot RPG. I've only played Honey Heist one time in the past, and it was hilarious. I'm very excited. Um, okay, back to boat. Here we go. Um. Aw, oh, snap! Get your towels ready. It's about to go down. Everybody in the place, hit the effing deck, but stay on your mother forking toes. We running this. Let's go. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Everybody look at me, cause I'm sailing on a boat. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat, take a good hard look at the mother forking boat. I'm on a boat, take a look at me, straight floating on a boat on the deep blue sea. Busting five knots, wind whipping out my coat. You can't stop me, cause I'm on a boat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got my swim trunks and my flippy floppies. I'm flipping burgers, you went king, go straight, flipping copies. I'm riding on a dolphin doing Y'all, I gotta, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Monique, was that the birthday present that you were looking for? Is that enough? Can I, <laughs> I can't. Um. <laughs> All the 
lurkers are probably, yeah, like, pr like prettiest kitty came back. They're all probably like, what the heck is happening right now? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, happy birthday, Monique. I love you. I love Lonely Island. Um, <laughs> um, let's get back to the escape room, shall we? Ambie is going to have a lot of fun editing this to go onto our YouTube channel. <laughs> Ambie, if you're, if you're watching this in the future, or if, if you're lurking right now, you can edit all of that out. <laughs> um, I'm going to start the timer back up again. <laughs> Oh, the joy, the joy. Okay, we got cards here. All right, I'm starting the timer. Uh, what connects us? So we can now see the puzzle that had the like lights in the bull's eyes. And this is a machine. <laughs> Pretty as kitty says, I'm making lunch and I'm like, yo, what's happening? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Then, hey, look, a boat. <laughs> Why is that so funny? I found a boat. Oh my God. Oh, an empty boat is ready to leave, but there is no wind. You will have to find a way to make it sail. <laughs> okay, and then the second the man lands, he collapses. His wings crumble and in his fall, he meets his demise. It would seem the gods dislike those who break the rules. Oh no. Okay, well that's scary. Um. <laughs> all right, well, let's see what this machine's all about. So 65. Oh, I can light up their eyes by touching them. I lose one minute. Okay, I should not touch uh, stuff that I don't know what I'm doing with. Because only his eyes, are any of the other's eyes lit up in the drawing? No. What connects us? Well, I don't know yet, so we'll come back to that. Was I supposed to get rid of any other cards at this point? I think we're okay. I'm at a loss, so I'm gonna get a hint for 65. The mythological creatures are made of two parts. Find what connects them one by one. Oh. Oh, I see. So the bull, uh, the minotaur is half bull, half man. Right? So then man... Uh, the centaur, half man, half horse. Pegasus, half horse, half winged thing. Griffin, winged thing, lion, or whatever, and so lion. <gasps> Yay! The sculptures illuminate and seem to animate. A strange figure materializes in front of you. Take card six. Okay, this is that card that we were supposed to discard when I cheated a second ago, apparently. So now we have it for realsies. Okay. You are determined, young Alex, but Hades is keeping your articles in, or, okay, your, I said articles, it's Ericles. Hades is keeping your Ericles imprisoned in the underworld. Apollo will maybe be able to help you, but he is not easy to find, so I grant you the power of divine vision for the day to send and practice. Take the filter card from the game box and use it when needed. Okay, so I wasn't supposed to use it yet, but when I do use it on the vase, that is when we get the number eight, which I will show in case anybody missed it earlier. Pretty cool. Um, it's a little bit difficult to show on stream, but so we get eight, which then got us um, this card. 
It says, it's perfect. You are ready to sail to Apollo's Island. When you are at sea, place yourself in the middle of the ocean and stay there for a few moments. If you are patient, you will discover islands that are hidden from mortal eyes. Make the right choice for these islands hold many dangers. And these cards are discarded. Okay. I'm ready to sail to Apollo's Island, but how do I do that? An empty boat is ready to leave, but there is no wind. You will have to find a way to make it sail. Was I supposed to discard this one and I missed that? Yeah, 65 got discarded. Uh, how do I make wind? The wise man looking at the sky, do you think he knows anything about the wind? If I combine those two, that would give me 45. I'm going to give it a shot. So far, I have not successfully been able to combine him with anything. And it looks like that streak is continuing. <gasps> Benita! OMG! Sing into the sail! <laughs> yeah, I should sing. I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! Take a good, hard look at the mother forking boat! I'm on a boat! How do I make wind? <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> if anybody is following me on TikTok, you should go watch the, not the video I posted most recently, but the one right before that. It is related to that statement <laughs> in a weird way. Uh, I am playing Unlock Mythic Adventures in the Clutches of Hades. Um, one of the Unlock Escape Room games. Right now, I need to sail to Apollo's Island, but my boat has no wind. So uh, I wonder if I can make, can I make something that will give make wind? Let's see, let me go back to the machine. Oh no, no hold on, it's the special. What can I make? It didn't... It took away the card that had the patterns on it. And there's nothing really like sail like in the patterns that are on here. It's not like a big triangle or I mean, this thing has a sail. It just needs wind. But I don't know what I was thinking I could make wind with like a bellows or something. Um, oh, thank you, Benita. It turned out pretty funny. Uh, yes, the bit of the before and after TikTok with my hair is naughty. <laughs> In like a cheeky way. Um, it's I actually had two before and afters. I didn't post the other one. I should post it. It's not as good, but um. So what can we combine with the boat? The gods don't like it if we cheat, so we can't cheat. I mean, I feel like that means we have to cheat later. But okay, I'm gonna get a hint about twenty three. Luckily, the sail is not the only means to propel the boat. Oh, so it's not. You will have to find a way to make it sail. Okay, so what else can I use, though? I don't have anything else. I mean, maybe I should try and use a carpenter tool. What else can I make, though? Like... A barrel wouldn't help. I knew we could do that. We did a chair earlier. That's not helpful. Can I make an oar? Like a, a paddle? I can't. I'm trying to look and see. Oh. Oh. It showed me. I, I don't know if you all can see that. I'm, it kind of, it knew what I was trying to do and it like showed me how to do it. <gasps> I made strong paddles. I was right. Take hard 40. Y'all, I'm being smart this time. I know this is one of the easy ones, but like, I'm doing a good job. <laughs> Let me have this moment. I say to myself, um, <laughs> I, I'm like, look, I used a hint and then I figured a thing out. I am smart. 40. Yay for Crystal. 
Wait, chicken parm? Who's, who's, who's having chicken parm? And how do I get some of that? Because that sounds delicious. Strong paddles. Okay, so now we combine those with the boat, which will get us 63. Do, 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 do. Okay, open C. So we get rid of 23 and 40. Those are gone. And this is a machine, so 63. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It said earlier that I needed to be patient, right? So should I should I just hold on this screen for a little while? If you are patient, you will discover islands that are hidden from mortal eyes. Make the right choice for these islands hold many dangers. I'm using the decoder on the phone to see if that does anything. I don't think it's going to do anything. If you can get to Hawaii in 10 minutes, you can have my chicken parm and I will order another one. I mean, if I could get to Hawaii in 10 minutes, I would 1000% be there all the time. I love Hawaii. When you were at sea, place yourself in the middle of the ocean and stay there a few moments. Okay, what if I like hold my finger on the screen? <gasps> my phone buzzed. <gasps> Yo! Yo! This is cool. Okay. Make the right choice for these islands hold many dangers. Yeah, how do I know which islands to go to? Does this thing, this thing doesn't help, does it? No. Danger Island! <laughs> I don't know how to pick. Y'all, look at all these islands. How am I supposed to choose? Does anybody have an idea? One kind of looks like a stegosaurus. Is that this one here? That one kind of looks like a stegosaurus. I feel like there has to be an actual like reason or a solution here though. This one looks like an exclamation point. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the hint. The stars have always guided adventurous sailors. Wait, but this guy's looking at the stars. When, when he fell out of the sky, there's stars in the sky. There's, there, I, hadn't, I actually hadn't noticed that there were stars there before. Can this help? Is that? I don't even know if that's the thing I'm supposed to. Oh! Oh! There's stars in the sky and he wants, the stars wish to speak. I haven't combined these two yet. 76? Okay, hold on. Yay! 22 and 54 can go away. Okay, cool. I had how I had not noticed that there were stars in the sky there. I can't you'd think I would have noticed that. See, young Alex, these constellations have meaning. They tell incredible stories. Alright. Oh my gosh! Uh, it is the Stegosaurus Island! <gasps> As Mahdi Games, you called it. Look, Apollo's Island definitely looks like a Stegosaurus. Yo, how did you know? Hold on, we don't touch it. You dock on the beach of Apollo's Verdant Island and leave the boat on the shore. Take card D. How did you know? That's amazing. Always trust a dinosaur, right? Like, come on, dinosaurs are the best. Okay, here we go. So we get rid of 58 and 79. Okay. 
The boat docks at the island. An altar dedicated to Apollo stands very close to the shore. So we need to grab a few more cards. I'm gonna slide the ones got up a little. Boop. Okay, we need, is that either one or I, 20, 38, 82. There's 38, 20, 82, I. There's 82, so 20 and I. 20, neither I or one, whichever. <laughs> A single line. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got here. Gaia, Apollo's sacred turtle. That we're definitely going to be using the decoder thing on in a minute. Like, it's all weird looking at the moment. Okay. A map of Apollo's island. We've got some card, num some red numbers on here that we could theoretically combine with a blue number, but we have to be careful about that. This chariot is the fastest means to move around on the island. Okay, so this is how we get to those places. But we have to pick wisely, I'm sure. And here we go. What is this? Ah, young Alex, I was expecting you to find... Oh, I was expecting you. To find Heracles, you will have to overcome Cerberus, the guardian of the underworld's gate. I'm willing to help you if you prove your worth. Go to the gold olive tree and bring some back to me. Listen carefully. Only Gaia, my turtle, will help you get there and find the olives that are not poisonous. Okay, so we need the turtle to help us figure out the non-poisonous olives. Well, I'm going to look at the turtle's back with the decoder thingy because... Here, I'm going to look at it myself and then I'll show you all because I need to like... Oh man, this is, this is difficult. Okay. Is there a, oof. So like, I don't even know if I'll be able to show you all. Like, the tree kind of shows up in some orientations, but not others. It is not showing up on stream. It's very difficult to see, at least unless I'm, like, doing this wrong. Ugh. Like, it's, it's going to be rough, y'all, when we get to this tree. So, where is the olive tree? How do we know where it is? We've got to get around the island somehow. Where did he say it is? Go to the gold olive tree and bring some back to me. Well, where's the tree? Do I have to drop, can I just drive straight there? Is it like at the end of the island? Okay, so if I combine 63 with 20, then I get 83. Let's see what happens if I just zoom to the end. Oh no, press the penalty button once. Okay, well we weren't supposed to do that apparently. Penalty. All right, I'm going to try 55. So 55 and 20 is 75. Nope, <laughs> penalty. Yo, how am I supposed to know where to go? Horsey. Okay, well then I'm going to try 61. I'm just going to get a whole bunch of penalties is what I'm going to do apparently. 81 would be the card I need for that. I know I probably shouldn't just spray and pray here, but I don't, I don't know what else to do. Hey, it's not a penalty. The chariot is speeding across the island when suddenly, okay, 20 and 82 are gone. Okay, well, we got another thing to decode here. Let me show you all this card. It's got more wiggly lines on it. I wanna put this here. <gasps> the horse runs! Okay, that's neat. Okay, hold on, I wanna look at it. That's really cool. But the wheel broke. Oh no, the wheel broke. <gasps> Can you all see it? Hold on, the wheel breaks. Ready, it's right there and then, oh no, the wheel broke. Okay, so I need to make a wheel. The wheel broke, therefore I need to make a wheel. So I go back to my special thing 
and I'm gonna draw a wheel. <gasps> I make a wheel! Take card 17. OMG, sorry, I'm not paying any attention to chat at all. Hi, T! <laughs> I'm so, like, engrossed in this one. Yeah, I know, right? The filter is very cool. Um, what am I getting? What card? What did I just do? <laughs> what, what number did I say? <laughs> oh, no. 41? Is that what it was? I think. Maybe somebody will remember. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. There's a 41. Was that the card I was supposed to take? No. Was that what I was... Is that... Is that the... Is that what it was? Dang it. Hold on. How can I do the thing again? Will it remind me? 17. That's not 41 at all. That's literally like the opposite of 41. Also, how did I not remember 17? Because that's my lucky number. Where did my brain get 41? I must have seen it in the deck and like my brain was trying to remember it. Okay, a strong wheel. So now we're going to combine that with the broken cart. So 98 is what we're looking for. Okay, we get rid of 17 and 81. Finally, you arrive in front of the gold olive tree. Now you must make a choice. Okay, so this is a machine. So we're going to bring it up in the app. 98. Okay, so we have to get the right olives, which, yo, this turtle... I know you all can't see. Huh, wait. I think all of the olives turn red, except for this little bunch right here. And then it turns red by itself. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to show you all what I'm looking at. I don't think you'll be able to see very clearly, but. Oh yeah, no, there's no, there's no way to really show you this. But like all of them turn red, except for that one little grouping, I think. So we're going to grab this little group and I'm going to hit confirm. Yes! You take a few sacred olives that seem to shine with divine light. Take card two. The turtle helped. Good turtle. The gold olives. Okay, we get rid of 98 and 38. Which one's 38? Where's 38? Are you 38? No. Oh, that's under it's the turtle. <clears throat> okay, so now we take the olives back to our friend. Two plus one is three. That is math I can do. Assuming there's a card three in the deck. There we go. All right. We can get rid of one, two, and D. Is this D? This is D. Uh, we also need to grab 51 in a minute. I'm going to try and remember to do that. Well done. You deserve my help. Take this liar. When used correctly, it will allow you to defeat the dreaded Cerberus. Unfortunately, I am forbidden to tell you the location of the underworld. Only Athena can. You'll find her on the island at the tip of Poseidon's trident. Okay. Well, Poseidon was a thing I was sculpting earlier in the game, but that stuff went away. So we'll have to figure that out. Okay, 51. Grabbing the liar. I like the theme of this one a lot. Why is everything shaking? Is it because the table's, yeah, the table's touching the camera. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm gonna try and scooch that a little. Hopefully that'll be less shaky. Okay, Apollo's Liar. So we're gonna have to play that at some point. I'm just gonna open up the app, the machine to see what it looks like, but I don't think we need to play it yet because we're not there. 
we got to go to Athena first. So, if, oh wait, but there, I don't, oh yeah, we can get back on the boat, right? I assume, 63. Well, if this is Poseidon's trident, then her island would be this tiny one here. Take card 60. Oh, it needs, I need sound? Okay, I'm gonna take card 60. <gasps> the Song of the Sirens is spellbinding. It is impossible to move forward unless How do I get past the sirens? Do I play music with them? Do I play the wire? Okay, they apparently don't want accompaniment. Should I, okay, should I tip the siren? <laughs> I can't combine those two numbers. It is impossible to move forward unless dot, dot, dot. I wanna figure this one out on my own. I don't wanna cheat. I don't want to get a hint, I should say. Do you think what they're singing matters? He tied himself to the mast. Yeah, but I don't think you need outside knowledge for these games, right? Although that is a good factoid. Also, why do I think that blonde siren's name is Danielle? She looks like a Danielle. What's, I don't know what her name is. The blonde one is Danielle, in my mind. I mean, there's no way I, I should have to play this on the wire, right? Like that's... That would be too difficult on a phone, I think. I was able to create a harp earlier. Hold on, hold on. What was the harp shape though? They took away the card that had the shapes on it. I feel like I need to make a harp. I don't remember how that was shaped. Maybe it'll help me if I get close. That's the barrel. Oops. How do I bring their song back? Bring it back. It's gone. Okay, let's ask for a hint about the sirens. How can you mute the sirens song? Did I literally have to turn my phone back on silent? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I get them to sing again? Uh, do we have to go back into the, okay, let's see here. card 60 we did how do I mute the siren song oh 
Oh, there, it started back up again. Okay. Turning my phone on silent did not work. Turn the volume down. The, the switch on my phone off I had to turn the volume down that's freaking clever with plugged ears you manage to escape the call of the sirens as you approach your destination the goddess Athena materializes on your ship's deck take card F okay that that's clever that's clever I like it F okay we can get rid of 60 now Bye, sirens. Hello, mortal. I am Athena. Hades heard about your quest. He dispatched his creatures to my island. Triumph over them, and I will help you get to the underworld. Take card 34. Okay. Oh, there's two numbers. Two 34s on here. After a short walk, you stumble upon a two-headed ogre. She must be crushed. No, no, roasted. No, boiled. Be quiet. You be quiet. No. He seems strong, but not so bright. That's the clue on the game box of phone puzzles. He's strong, but not bright. And he has both a blue number and a red number. So that's interesting. Strong, but not so bright. You put the picture of the chicken parm in Discord? I love it. Thank you so much. I'm very excited about that. Um... Okay, I'm going to get a hint because I don't even know where to start with this one. Maybe you should set one head against the other. Oh, 34 plus 34 is 68. I don't think I would have gotten there on my own. Well, maybe eventually, but I, that was not. Taking advantage of the argument, you discreetly sneak your way past and disappear. You arrive at the banks of a torrent. Ominous cries seem to be coming from the other side, but you can't get through this rapid. Okay, so now we can get rid of the 34. I don't I don't think I was going to combine those two numbers. Even though they're blue and red, and obviously blue and red can be combined, I don't think my brain was going to get there. Um, this rapid, though, looks dangerous. I don't think this is for something for our decoder, but let's take a look. No. Can't go through it. Can I build something to help me get over it? I make a long plank. Take card 10. Holy crap. Y'all, I did it. I did a thing. Card 10. I've been, okay, a long plank. All right, well, let's combine that with the rapid. So now that's 78. And we can get rid of 10 and 68. Okay, those are gone. A horrific hydra is standing on the opposite side of the bank. Even cut off, her heads keep growing back relentlessly. There must be a way to cut them off once and for all. Okay, well, this is uh, definitely looking for our little secret decoder thingamabobber. So, and it's also a machine. Oh, wow. Okay, so the lightning coming from is like, it varies. Okay, so we got to open the machine and see. You just got mail from Olympian. Okay, machine, 78. So, let's see here. 
I apologize if you all can't. So the heads are moving and the lightning is striking them. Okay, so. That one gets struck by itself. Those two get struck together. That one gets, oh wait, I might be tilting. Oh gosh, this is. I'm not 100% sure how to interpret this. Uh, just so you all can see what I'm looking at on the app here. I've got a single sword, a single sword, and a double sword thing. And I gotta figure out, using the lightning that's showing up on this card, how to kill all of the heads at once. I'm not even sure what will happen if I click on these. Oops. Um. Okay. Um, what? The heads grew back, I assume. Are my swords gonna reset? I'm confused. Hint, lightning bolts strike one after the other. You must find the exact sequence. Okay, well that's difficult. How do I know where the sequence begins? Like that's the part that Okay, there's nothing. Then, oh my. So, that one, then that one, then that one, then that one, I think. How do I reset you? Sheen. The heck? It's not working. I'm sorry, you all can't see what I'm doing here. It turns some of the dots blue. Here, we're gonna go back in here again. So they all start off this tan color and then what's the clue? It, it said that I need to watch the lightning bolts, which are on the card that you all are not going to be able to see super well. Because the order in which the lightning bolts strike has to do with um, this. So there's nothing that I can really, you, you won't be able to help me because unless, ugh, like this is, this is really difficult to show. Like you can see the order kind of, but like I don't know where the sequence starts is the problem. Okay, so I'm going to slide the card down. Like it's, it's too difficult to show. Like I can't, I'm looking for the solution. Okay. Second, the fourth, and then simultaneously first and third. Oh, so I have to, okay. Yeah, I was not, that two finger thing, I wasn't, it makes sense now, but I don't think I was going to get there. Okay, take card 11. I'm, I'm okay with having gotten help with that one. That, that was, okay. Seventy eight and F can go away. You are brave, mortal, maybe enough to face Hades. His kingdom is hidden halfway between Apollo's Island and the Great Temple. Okay. Halfway between Apollo's Island and the Great Temple. Ha! 
I just tapped it and it worked. As you approach your destination, a supernatural mist rises above the ocean. A desolate island emerges from it, revealing the gateway to the underground. Take card 74. We're going to run out of time, but that's fine. Admittedly, I wasted a bunch of time earlier talking about non-game things, but that's okay. Okay, we get rid of 63 now. So the boat is gone. The entrance to the kingdom of Hades, a supernatural force prevents you from entering his realm. Okay, well, we need the decoder again. And I'm going to... its I've gotten it all smudgy with my hands, so I'm going to... Give it a little love here. There's a hand trying to poke at the fire. I gotta touch the fire? It's just a hand poking fire. Y'all, can you see that? It's like a little hand coming down, poking some fire with a skull in it. Supernatural force present. How do I how do I touch the fire? How do I touch fire? Where do I touch fire? I don't understand. Where's the fire? How do I find it? Oh wait, if I touch the pen, it looks like the penalty button. <gasps> Hold on. Do I have to tap the penalty button a whole bunch? The countdown is finished, but time continues. Okay, y'all, this image, this, this skull looks exactly like the penalty button. So I think I have to tap the penalty button. Yes! Oh my... <laughs> I'm sorry. I got so excited that I figured that out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun tonight. Take card 66. Of course it's 66. Okay. I feel special that I figured that out. Okay. Oh my. We got, uh, we can get rid of 74. I'm so sorry for kicking the camera, y'all. Okay. Um, what did Joe say? A finger touching something must be the phone. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. We need a lot of cards all of a sudden. We need X. We need Y, T, S, and 47. There's T. There's 47. There's Y. And S. At last, the abode of Hades. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh my. Okay, we're going we're gonna to slide all of these up a little bit. Because we're going to have to lay some stuff out. A ghostly figure is facing you from the bank of the Styx, the river of the underworld. It is Charon, the soul conveyor, mute. He is satisfied with staring at you, his hand extended. Oh, well now I know what to do with the freaking coin. We gotta pay the toll. So that would be 89.96. Yo, I finally know what to do with this dang coin that we've been holding on to. <laughs> I know what Charon wants. Okay, we can get rid of 47, 49, and R. Charon invites you aboard his boat. You pass in front of a hut, then under a bridge, and lastly next to a dead tree, at the foot of which a skeleton lies. Okay. You pass in front of a hut, then under a bridge, and lastly next to a dead tree, at the foot of which a skeleton lies. Well, there's, okay, there's a dead tree and a skeleton. I feel like that pathing is supposed to spell something. Like that kind of looks like an S or a five, but then I don't know what that is supposed to be. I hate when I'm sticks. I don't, the word sticks wouldn't really help with anything though, would it? 
because we need a number. We have to play that liar at some point, but that's once we find Hades. For right now, I'm not certain. Okay, I'm gonna get a hint. Charon speaks in an enigmatic way. Place the Styx cards to recreate the stages of his route. But I, I did that, didn't I? Am I, am I supposed to see something here? S, X, like... Okay, here, hold on. I gotta pause the timer, even though we're four minutes over our hour long time in the app anyway. Hello, friends. Um, my name is Crystal Dax. Most of you probably already know me. Um, I am playing uh, an escape room game right now. Every Tuesday evening, I play an escape room board game right here on our channel. I am one half of the Board Game Blitz podcast, along with Ambie Valdez, who has been lurking in the chat on and off this evening. Uh, oh my gosh, so many lovely friends in the chat. Monique, Amanda, Dead Last, Ruel, Sorrow Song. Hi, friends. How are all of you? I am so happy to see all of your names in the chat right now. Oh, thank you, Amanda. Yeah, it turned out pretty fun. I'm trying, I'm in that weird stage where I got it dyed on Saturday, and so I'm trying not to wash it right away. Like, I'm trying to wait a few days. And so it's, it's looking a little bit sketchy uh, at the top. I really want to wash it. I typically go three to four days between washes when my hair is like this. Um, and that, that last couple days uh, are tough. But if I, here, hold on, I can, <laughs> there, you can see some, oh gosh, no, that didn't work at all because it's all zoomed in. You can see the color. It's pretty. I, I really dig how it turned out. Um, um, I really enjoy how it turned out. My stylist, Tyler, he is amazing and he did such a spectacular job on my hair. I am currently playing one of the Unlock Mythic Adventures. Um, this box, when did this one come out? I don't even remember. I feel like this one is older. Is this newer or this is older? I don't see a year on here. It's probably in the rule book. I don't know when this one came out. Maybe it's new, maybe it's old. Sometimes they come out in Europe and then they come out in America later, so who knows. Um, but I'm playing the In the Clutches of Hades scenario, which is the easiest one from this box. I've actually been doing surprisingly well, like figuring things out on my own tonight, which is kind of neat. Obviously chat is helping as well, which is really nice. But like, I haven't been as frustrated by this one as I sometimes am by Unlocked Games. Uh, although at the moment, I'm a little bit stuck. So I'm not starting restarting the timer yet. Um, if any of you are really, um, you know, really want to play this series of games and don't want anything spoiled, um, put the X on the right. But then the bridge would be over there. The bridge is the, okay, here, hold on. <laughs> so is he right? Okay, hold on. We'll figure that out in just a second then. Um, but yes. To spell sticks. Oh. But then it, then it's not the same. Oh, I see. I see. I see. But wait, so then. Okay, I gotta restart the timer. We're, we're going again, apparently. Um, what did this say? Okay. Okay. He invited me aboard his boat. We pass in front of a hut. And then under a bridge. And lastly, next to a dead tree, at the foot of which a skeleton lies. So like, the, how can the bridge be over there then? You see what I'm saying? The bridge is here now. Unless he's like, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't work. Am I wrong? <laughs> like, I know that this spell sticks, but, but that doesn't make sense to me. Maybe I had the other parts wrong. So hut first, then bridge, then. 
See, this doesn't match up. These don't, these don't. The way I had it theoretically works. Mm. I, for the record, I appreciate the assist. Y'all are doing a great job, but I don't know. I don't know if this is actually right or not, but I don't know what 60 means. What, what does 60 mean? Oh, like, does it spell 60? Oh, S-X-T-Y. <gasps> Hornist. Hornist. Okay, there's no 60. Dang, that would have been good. Dang, now I'm bummed. There's no 60. Dang. I'm, I'm impressed for the record. I like that. If that had been the answer, I would have been. Okay, we just, we need to help on this. So what is this? 96. Ugh, do I want the solution? I don't want the solution. I want more hints. Technically, there is a walkthrough book for this one in the thing. No, I don't want the solution. Here, I'm actually going to pause the timer. And I have never seen um, a walkthrough book for any of the uh, unlock games. This is new. Or new to me, I should say. I don't have any idea if it's new to the series. But this is step-by-step uh, -step solutions to the puzzles. So... You want me to read the clue again? Oops, not 60, uh, 96. Charon speaks in an enigmatic way. Place the six cards to recreate the stages of his root. That is what it says. Okay, pausing. And then I'm not going to show this on stream just in case I accidentally reveal any more spoilers, but I'm going to try and very carefully okay that's all stuff we've done that's all stuff we've done okay we did that oh holy cow y'all i was never i was never going to get this literally Never. I'm a little bit angry. <laughs> I love this one so far, but this is, you know how I was like, okay, so here's the solution that you're supposed to do. These three are correct. And then it says that there's a skeleton at the foot of a tree, right? Well, there's a skeleton and there's a tree trunk. So I assumed that this card was good enough on its own because you can see the tree and you can see the skeleton. No, apparently not. This is supposed to go here. Putting the skeleton at the base of that tree. Then you multiply five by seven to get 35. Are you kidding me? No, I was never, never. Okay, I'm hitting the play button. I'm, I'm a little angry. <laughs> Oh gosh, we gotta get rid of a lot of things. Okay, 66, 96, STY and X. Okay, six cards are gone. Yeah, that 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 puzzle, not, not cool, not cool. But the rest of it I love. I'm not gonna let one bad puzzle ruin the experience. I'm having a lot of fun. I really am. I know I don't sound like it. <laughs> you disembark at the heart of the underworld, but the terrible Cerberus keeps a good watch. Well, what does Cerberus want? He's a good boy. He wants pets. How do I pet Cerberus? Hugs, Crystal. <laughs> I know, I want to hug him. Um, can I make him something? Like, can I make him a chew toy? Can I make him a bone? Is there anything I can make Cerberus? I make him ball? No. Make him a stick?
He's very angry. What else do we have? We don't really have much else. So I feel like I need to make something, but I don't know what I can make for him. We're gonna get a hint. 35. The eyes of Cerberus shine with anger. A nice harmony is the only way to soothe him. Oh, I have to play the liar for him? I thought I had to play the liar for Hades. Okay, so machine, 51. I'll turn it up so y'all can hear that better. That's pretty much all I can do. Once Cerberus is in plain view. Okay, well, Cerberus is in plain view. camera at Cerberus there isn't the this it's not using the camera plain view I wonder if the filter is gonna do anything to Cerberus it's a filter oh god that's terrifying looking I don't think that changes anything helpfully the heck What the heck am I supposed to do? Oh gosh. Hint 35. Do you want an additional hint? Yes. The lyre notes change according to the way they are played. Find the notes that will soothe each of the creature's heads. What? I see their eyes are different colors. So I need to go purple, orange, 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 purple, orange. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn the volume down. The melody calms the monster who falls asleep at your feet. Take card 33. Yeah, I don't think I was going to notice that their eye, his eyes were different colors. Like, I can show you all. Like, so that left, far left eye is technically purple, but like barely visible. And then you've got orange, orange, orange. And then now this one, this one is more obvious. I should have maybe noticed that, but like, I did not. Okay, that's fine. What was I supposed to take? Gosh darn it. Why do I always do this? What was the thing it just told me to do? Does anybody remember? 33? Is that what it said? Thank you. 35 and 51 can go away. Okay. And we need to take B. Hades sneers at you from his sinister throne. As you insist on coming into my home, I'm going to keep you for eternity. He's mean. 
And then apparently there's somebody else here. Grab card B. <gasps> Yay! Here at last is Ericles lying at Hades' feet like a trophy. Alex, the gods are with you and you can see the hidden side of things. You can triumph over Hades. You can see the hidden side of things. The hidden side. Filter on Hades. I don't think I see anything different. It does not appear to change the picture in any way. Let me try on him. No. I put it on the back of the card, the hidden side, like this, the side, hidden side. Um, here at last is Ericles, lying at Hades' feet like a trophy. Alex, the gods are with you and you can see the hidden side of things. You can triumph over Hades. hidden side. Well, I'm going to get hint number one at least. Ericles gives you the key to overcome the god of the underworld. You must ally the three gods who helped you and look at the back of the cards. Oh. That's why I didn't, that's why I still have all these cards. Aha. I don't know if I was going to get there. Okay, so when I line them all up to make the constellation match up, that is in fact Hades' constellation, and it says three equals eight. And he is card 33. So if I look up card 88, is that a thing? There is an 88 in here. Okay, we've made progress. Okay, okay. I wasn't going to get that on my own either. So 3, 8, uh, 11, and 33 can all go away. Then we need to grab 41. Okay. Floored by the power of three gods, Hades flees, swearing to avenge himself. As you are freeing Ericles, a familiar figure emerges from the shadows. Thank you, Alex. Take now my wings and flee this world of darkness. Okay, so that's a machine. So we're going to put that in. So I'm carrying Ericles. Alex flies off into the light, saving the two men from the underworld. Back at the temple, a sumptuous party is organized in honor of the heroine. People will remember her for years, her wonderful journey, and tell of the challenges she overcame. Well, we only got two stars, friends, <laughs> but that is okay. We we did not we did not do well. And man, those last few puzzles were rough. But overall, so that's, that's ma that makes this tough because like, I really enjoyed everything in this up until 
we hit those really obtuse puzzles um, toward the end there. But that was super fun. I did use a lot of hints also. Um, do I want to leave the game? Yes. Okay. Whew, that was fun. I do, I, this one would be, I think if I warned people, like if I passed this off to somebody and they wanted a recommendation, I would specifically say, I loved it, but a couple of the puzzles toward the end were very difficult. So if you get stuck, feel free to use the step-by-step -step solutions or the hints. That's what I would tell people because I still think theme-wise, this is one of my favorite unlocks. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. And I like, this is neat. The step-by-step -step solutions, especially because you have to manipulate the cards and other physical things, this was helpful. So I liked that this existed. Um, but that's it for unlock 